Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be working on this interesting and challenging integral world using contour method, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is evaluate this integral world from zero to infinity, then we have 50 times x to the power of eight over x to the power of 20 plus two times x to the power of 10 plus one and dx. Okay, so we can work on your denominator. So you have now integral from zero to infinity, then we have 50 times x to the power of eight, and then over, your denominator is the perfect square, which is x to the power of 10 plus 1 squared, and dx. Okay, then we can rewrite this as now. 1 over 2 times integral from negative infinity to infinity, and then 50x to the power of 8 over x to the power of 10 plus 1, now squared, and dx. Okay, so now we can work on the contour CR, right? So let me work on the contour. See, R as the half circle, that should be looking like this. With your radius of R. Okay, then we can call your FZ. FZ as now 50 Z to the power of 8 over Z to the power of 10 plus 1, now square. Right. In this case, if your r is going to infinity, then your integral over this contour, the half circle, will get to zero. And then for your r to be just a large, right? Then your integral has to be now your contour cr of fz and dz, which should be evaluated using the residues. Okay, then let's talk about fz. Okay, so fz has the poles of order two inside of your contour cr. Okay, at the point, okay, let's say your zk is equal to e to the power of, now k, pi i over, now 10. Okay, where the k is, 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Okay, so that's why now we can rewrite this integral as now. I then is going to be equal to 2 pi, now I. That times summation of the K. Then we should have the residue of F N Z K. Okay. Okay, then what about your residue of F N Z K? Residue of this has to be the now the limit. Limit when your Z is going to Z, now K. Okay, then we should have d over dz. Okay, that times now z minus zk squared. And then times f of c. Okay, this has to be the residue of f and zk, right? Okay, then based on this, we can evaluate this as now. It has to be the same thing as 25 times limit. Your z is going to z, now k. Then after this, it should be now the d over dz. And then now times z to the power of now 8. That times z minus zk. Okay, over z to the power of 10 plus 1 and square. Okay, so that's why we can represent this into the two terms, right? The first term has to be... Um, it should be 200 times the limit, z is going to zk. Okay, then we have z to the power of now then 7 times z minus zk over uh, z to the power of 10 plus 1, and then square. Okay, this has to be our first term. And then the second term is now plus, now then 50 times same limit, x, z is going to zk. Okay, then we should have now z to the power of now then 8. That times z minus zk over z to the power of now 10 plus 1. That times now d over dz of your z minus zk over z to the power of 10 plus 1. Okay, so let me call this as the first term. 
and call this as the second term. And then let's talk about the first and the second term from now. Okay, then based on this, let's now talk about limit z is going to zk, and then z minus zk over z to the power of now 10 plus 1 using L'Hopital's rule, right? Okay, then now we can see how your limit okay, z is now going to zk and 1 over 10 times z to the power of 4. This has to be just a 1 over 10 times 1 over uh, z k to the power of 4. Okay, then we can also see how your z k to the power of 10. This has to be equal to negative 1. So that's why z k to the power of 9, this has to be negative 1 over z now k. So that's why now this limit that we're looking for. Limit z is going to z k. And then z minus z k over z to the power of 10 plus 1. Okay, this has to be just equal to um, negative z k over 10. So that is why using this, your first term, the first term will give you The first term will give you now, okay, let's say it has to be 200 okay, times z k to the power of now 7. And then we should have just a negative z k over 10. Okay. Which should be then equal to 2 times now um, z k to the power of 9. So that's why it has to be just equal to now the negative 2 over zk. So the first term has to be negative 2 over zk. Okay, then let's talk about the second term. The second term was now 50 times zk to the power of 8. Now then we have negative zk over now 10. Okay, that times limit z is going to zk. Okay, then we have z minus ck over c to the power of 10 plus 1. Okay, so if you work this out, then it has to be equal to negative uh, 5 zk to the power of 9. That times the limit, and your z is going to zk. Then we should have now fraction. Okay, on the numerator, we should have now then z to the power of 10 plus 1 first, and then minus parenthesis z minus zk. Okay, then after this, we have 10 times z to the power of 9. Okay, then your denominator is only square of this z to the power of 10 plus now 1. Okay, so let's keep working, right? So if you keep working out, then it has to be the same thing as 5 over zk. 5 over zk times now the limit z is now going to zk. Okay, then we should have also the fraction. Let's work this out then. Your numerator, first term, has to be 10 z to the power of now 9 minus another 10 z to the power of 9. Then we have minus z minus zk. That times now 90 times 10 times 9, 90 times z to the power of now 8 over now 2 times parenthesis z to the power of 10 plus 1. Okay, that times now 90 times z to the power of the 9. Okay, then if you keep work this out, then we should have negative 450. That uh, divided by now 20 z to the power of now 10. Okay, that times limit z is going to zk, then we have z minus zk. Okay. That over now z to the power of 10 plus 1. That is going to be just equal to 450 over now 20. Okay. That times now negative zk over 10. Okay, so that's why your second term has to be now equal to eventually um, if you calculate this, then it has to be negative 45 over now 20. 
that times your zk. This has to be your second term, right? Okay, so using that expression, we're almost done. So let's talk about the sum, right? So the sum is going to be then the same thing as, okay, now I'm um, z1 plus z9 plus now z3 plus z7 plus z5. Okay, z5 is equal to i. So let's rewrite this as now then e to the power of pi i over 10 plus now e to the power of 9 pi i over 10 plus e to the power of 3 pi i over 10 and then plus e to the power of 7 pi i over 10 now plus just the i okay we can still rewrite this so if you rewrite this then it has to be now then 2i times the sine of pi over 10 and then that plus another 2i times sine of now the 3 pi over 10 now plus still the i so keep rewriting this it has to be the same thing as then pulling this i out and make your parenthesis then we should have 2 times 1 over 4 okay that times negative 1 plus square root of 5 plus uh, 2 times still 1 over 4. That times now, parenthesis, positive 1 plus square root of 5, now plus 1. Close your parenthesis. Okay, so that's why if you calculate this, then it has to be the same thing as now that i times 1 plus square root of 5. That is why your i, the integral is now finally looking like negative 2 pi i over 4. Okay. That times now this i parenthesis 1 plus square root of 5. So that's why your i is then going to be now pi over 2, negative cancel out, and then parenthesis 1 plus square root of 5. Okay, so this is the answer. And then at the same time, if you want to use this golden ratio 5, this has to be the same thing as golden ratio 5 times pi. Okay, so pretty interesting and challenging integral using contour method. So I'll be back with more videos and more questions like this sometime soon.